The Diplomat organized New Zealand wine tasting for Fulbrighters and Harvard alumni in Bangkok at Kai to raise funds for underprivileged yet talented young musicians who come for free classical music lessons at Emmanuel Music School in Klong Tei. It was set up about 15 years ago by two Norwegian missionaries. The wife, Solveig, um, she just loves music, plays piano and plays violin, and just started teaching the children. And she almost became like a mother to those children. So I think this, this, there's a special characteristic in the school, uh, that of the family atmosphere. Giving back, I think, is a very important part of who we all are as people, so I think whether you're successful or not, I think the way that you deal with people and the way that you care for the people around you, including those who don't have as much or aren't as fortunate as us, is a real uh, mark of what we are as a society. The fund we raised that evening was used to host lunch for these kids one beautiful Saturday. Well, it's a wonderful thing, isn't it? And, um, you know, we have the wine tasting on the one hand in a nice restaurant and it's all very nice. And here's the reality of uh, these kids who come here and able to learn instruments. And I just think it's a um, really wonderful thing to watch these kids uh, here individually learning, but watch them perform as a group. I mean, it's very sophisticated, actually, to play in an orchestra and understand the different ways you play and how if you play too loud, you'll annoy someone else, so it, I just think it's a really neat thing to do on so many levels, what the kids are learning here. I just didn't realise just the talent that these kids would have, you know, and at such a young age. I think I was taking photos and videoing myself so I can take it home and show the children. But it's an amazing facility to take these children at a very young age and just bring them up. So I've been really impressed, it's been fabulous, yeah. The power of music, it's not just a tool for social development, but it can also change one's life. It's a way of um, connecting people, so you know, you don't need to know the language, you can just enjoy a performance without kind of having to know the local language at all, or um, I think it's, it sort of touches you, so you, you're moved by it as well. They've done an amazing job here in to use music in a way to teach discipline and to uh, teach kids how to look after an instrument and to turn up on time and to practice and then turn up and continually improve. I think there's skills that you can apply in any part of life.